Well, welcome folks, Dr. Charles Parker here, and what we're going to do is outline two additional important things that we have to pay attention to if we're looking at anything that's going on with stimulant medications for ADHD, and they are as follows. We talked about them a little bit in a different way in another video called DOE and Duration of Effectiveness, the Sides of the Window. They're so relevant for ADHD medications because they all have a specific duration of effectiveness that we need to pay attention to. I'll leave a link down below so you can go over and look at that video. But these two uh, essential points, we see them every single day in our practice. And everybody that works with me, it's, it's an important couple of things to pay attention to. One is the narrow therapeutic window, and the other one is called the roving therapeutic window. The narrow therapeutic window, we see it all the time. And it's very relevant because the, the forgiving and really interesting thing about ADHD medications is they're very predictable if we know what we're doing. They're very unpredictable if we aren't paying attention to the details. So the narrow window is like this. You give a person medication and titrate it very carefully and you know they're medication sensitive and you try to titrate it very carefully and you go from one very low dose to Another dose that looks like it would be just reasonable, and they come out the top of the window. So below the window, it's not working out. The top of the window, they have a big side effect. We're looking for that sweet spot. And if a person is not in that sweet spot, and it's coming out the top of the window, they have side effects. So you can go up and down and have a narrow window, and a little bit, just a little bit more is a problem. That's based on metabolism. One of my favorite words, you've heard it before. And then the other one's a little more subtle because it occurs over time. It's not quite so much acute as you see when you're titrating up and bingo, you think you're there, and then bingo, you're not there. With the narrow window, the roving therapeutic window is just what it says. It's roving. So you have, you and your doctor work very well, and you get yourself into that window where you're not coming out the top and having any side effects. You're not out the bottom. It's not working down here. You're right in there, and you oh, gosh. And let's take, take for example, Vyvanse as an example. It runs 12 hours, so you've got a duration that's good. You've got a top that's good and a bottom that's good. You're in the sweet spot. The roving window is that over time, slowly but surely, it doesn't work anymore. You're coming out the bottom. Or slowly but surely you seem to be accumulating and you're getting agitated and just coming out the top and you have to either adjust it again and run around adjusting it or change the medication and do something else. And then you do the next medication and the same darn thing happens. How many times have you seen that? Roving therapeutic window, narrow therapeutic window, it's all about metabolism and I'll leave a link down below to talk about some of the things you can do regarding metabolism. Thanks for paying attention. Talk to you soon. Have a great day.